All right, the first thing that we uh, we need to uh, learn and understand is that we're sharing the track with uh, seven other vehicles. So when we get to these uh, big green cones here, we'll come up and get stopped, and uh, I'll just uh, I'll give you the green light as to uh, whether or not we're clear to go or not. We'll come out on track, and we have a nice, safe environment to be a good test driver. And what I want you to do when you're being a good test driver is push the vehicles a little bit, drive sportingly, but within your limits. So we'll know if we're within our limits if we start hitting cones or not, which is what we don't want to do. Always look where you want to go, and these blue cones here kind of help us with that. So up ahead here, I can see that I've got a real sharp turn. Mm -hmm. I know Stefan said that there's glass here for a reason, so I'm looking out my side window here looking up the hill. I see these blue cones, I want to be nice and close okay. without running them over. Looking ahead, I see sort of a sharp turn coming up, mm -hmm. so I'll have to get some braking done before the corner. Mm -hmm. Looking on through the corner, I see that it continues to the right. So I'll just sort of show you what I mean, what the harmony will be there. Just a little bit of braking before the corner, nice and tight to these blue cones here. Okay. Yeah, real nice and smooth. You're okay back there, right? Yeah, I'm glad. A lot of braking because we have a, a tight corner coming up. I'm nice and tight to those blue cones. Just gently squeezing the throttle coming off the corner. Coming up here again. Looking way ahead so I know I got a left and a right. And now I'm on the brakes because now we're going to go into the pits. So when I tell you to go into the pits, this is where we go. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you drive the M5 on the Nuremberg ring? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>